This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I hope you guys all had a great day and spent time with family today. Let's get right into the news. First off, Drake and Roddy Rich drop a new track on SoundCloud. Make sure you go listen to it because I think it was leaked. It's called In The Cut. I like it, man. I think Drake's searching for a single. And instead of dropping them officially, he drops them on SoundCloud to see how they do. I think this one's going to... It's going to go somewhere, even though it's not the most crazy. They're not saying the most craziest stuff in the song, but it's good. It's fire. Okay, so go check it out. Then we got Kanye West announcing that he's running for president in 2020. Now, it's a weird climate for political. It's a weird political climate. Democrats and Republicans are not working together at all. Um, they're, they're, They're actually working against each other. It's a divide. And um, it's a perfect time for Kanye to swoop in and he could probably get a nice following going with some different ideals. Does it seem a little wild? Yeah, but everything Kanye does is wild. Elon Musk already backed him. And Elon Musk and Kanye both are billionaires, so they can afford to run. And they could probably raise the money to run. It's a weird climate out here. And I don't even, I think he could get a lot of votes. I don't think he's going to get the whole country. I think you could pull in a good percentage, though, and take away from the, the Democrats and Republicans. We need an independent running. I've been saying that to shake things up a little bit. Can you imagine Kanye was debating uh, Trump and uh, Biden? Come on, man. That would be a movie. I mean, 2020 can't get any weirder. Let's spite. Let's let's put a little more spice on it. And get Kanye was. I, I, I don't really care at this point do it (laughs) run Kanye I want to see it because you know what I think he'll actually pull down a lot of votes too because you know what Kanye Kanye even though he's a little wild man he has some good ideas and his his wife has been doing very well with justice reform um I think that he would have a different perspective on things I don't know. Give him a shot. Let's see what he says, man. I'm interested. I'm interested to see Kanye West's views on things. He's not, he's definitely not. He's definitely a very smart person. Very smart. It's a little wild with his ideas. He's impulsive. That's what I think it is. He's impulsive. But when he thinks things through, obviously, he always delivers. He always delivers. Then we got... Uh, Meek Mill playing the victim. Okay, so 50 Cent said earlier he was talking about how is Meek Mill doing justice reform when he signed to CEO and he signed to the woman over at Rock Nation that was a cooperating witness, allegedly. Um, you know, Meek Mill's been having a rough week, okay? So he celebrated academics uh, being canceled when he's been canceled numerous times and it's almost hypocritical for him to want to see someone's downfall. Uh, he talks about Nikki today. When you see a girl you used to like and lo- and with her love of her life on socials, you realize a lot about that girl. Meek Mill's still talking about Nicki Minaj, even though he has a new girl and a whole baby, right? Another baby. Um, and I uh, listen, let's not get lost here. I, I, I think Meek Mill's a great rapper. I don't think he's great at social media and I don't think he's great with his emotions. Okay. 50 Cent said some things about him today, like I said. And guess what? He said, Oh, everyone's ganging up on me. Uh, I'm the victim here. No, 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 bro. You're doing this to yourself and you got to stop, man. You're distracting people from your art. You're really good at that. You're doing great things out here with reform. You help your your neighborhood, and um, you got to continue that path, man. You're connected to the right people to make things happen for your neighborhood, for your community. Yet you're focused on academics and Nicki Minaj and Fifty Cent. I mean, what's going on, man? Drop music, do your thing, do the reform, expand. You have a, a, a you're not even looking for artists, and you have a whole label. On Rock Nation. Moneybag Yo weighed in and he said that academics isn't good for the community. I disagree with all these guys, okay? Yes, academics is a little wild sometimes, especially when he was doing the Chicago stuff, but he calls things for what they are sometimes, okay? Uh, Takashi says he never wants to address being signed to a snitch and nobody will find out now. Everybody's ganging up on him. 
You know, he signed to Rick Ross, who stole someone's whole life, okay? I uh, like Rick Ross. Rick Ross is probably one of the best rappers out here, let's be honest, okay? But the facts are the facts. The facts are the facts. We all have our flaws. And Meek Mill's running around here like he has no flaws, okay? And that's not right. And then Moneybag Yo, I think even um, my son chimed in on this. It's like, my son, you got enough going on with everything else. I like my son. I think my son's doing a lot of good out here. But why even weigh in on that? Who cares? Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs just shot a video of Rick Ross. Cool. Meek Mill's even commenting on Takashi videos. It's too much, man. This is the last, hopefully this is the last video I'm going to make on that. Because I'm sick of reporting on Meek Mill doing weird stuff out here. He's acting really weird. And it makes me think that he is back to doing, allegedly back to doing things that he was doing when he was with Nikki. And around that time, he said he was having a problem and he needed to go away to get clean. Allegedly. That's what he said on the radio. He admitted that he was, you know, uh, he had a, a problem that he had to fix. And I, I hate to say it, I think he's back on that. And I hope that someone around him helps him with whatever's going on. Because I, I like Meek Mill. I like his, I like, I like his story, man. Came from nothing and, and now has everything and is able to take care of his whole family. Love it. He's able to help other people too. 40 Glock went to, he surrendered to the police for some charges that he was charged with three years ago regarding females. Well, you're going to have to look that up for yourself. I can't really talk about it, but, uh, you know, some activities with females and, uh, he got arrested for it at a hotel three years ago, turned himself in to do some time recently. Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you stay positive today. Stay active. Realize that if you're having some problems in life, that they you will get past it. Don't think that everything's over. Life is a weird roller coaster, man. Especially in your early years, your first, like, you know, when you're 20s and early 30s. There's a lot of ups and downs you go through. And as you power through them, you realize that, hey, I learned a lot about myself during those downtimes that allowed me to maneuver properly during the positive times. Uh, what I suggest is you stay busy, stay active, stay trying to win, do everything you can. Any idea that comes to your head that's legal, okay, always be legal and be safe. Make sure you stay active, read, exercise. Just keep trying, keep getting up and trying again. Try to get a job, try to do what you got to do, try your new ideas, make it happen because nobody's going to do it for you. You got to do it. Okay, so don't feel down, stay distracted. When you stay distracted and you stay active, you don't think about being down. It's easy to sit around and feel sorry for yourself. I've done that myself. Then you sit around and then you're like, what am I doing with my life? Then you keep putting it off. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow. And all, all, before you know it, a month went by and two months went by and three months went by. And the hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Make sure you start now, today, okay? I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And please take care of yourself. I hope these words help you. And I appreciate you for watching me. And I hope you have a great day today. Peace. Oh, yeah. Like button. Subscribe button. I appreciate it. Peace.